just real quick today before I do my PT. Took the last couple days off. On Sunday, I had a really good workout and uh, I noticed a lot of weakness in my shoulder and stabilization issues. So I took a couple days off and then on Monday, I had, it was Monday or Tuesday, had a massage therapy and chiropractic therapy with a new chiropractor and was talking to him and showed him some of the symptoms I was having and he uh, identified a rhomboid uh, isn't firing he said it'll come back but one of those symptoms is when you do th this behind your back it's not an issue here you can see it's an issue uh, often associated with a rotator cuff in this case it's going to be uh, in regards to my surgery and it's a nerve regeneration issue and he gave me some exercises to do uh, basically they're face down snow angels because we were working on pulling movements we are also looking at the subscapularis which pulls the shoulder blade back and that as you can see that's just not firing can't put your arm behind your back um, with my minimal knowledge of the human body uh, the physical the muscle muscle system uh, years ago Liz bought this book I recommend it and it's the Atlas of Anatomy and in it'll show you how the muscles work uh, so I did a few of my own tests uh, usually people get leg cramps. You can cramp your calf if you squeeze it too tight or your arm if you squeeze it too tight or you can feel the muscle pinch. So I've been moving back. I can't feel that left rhomboid uh, pinch. The right one I can get to pinch and feel and then, pull, un then stretch it back out. But the left one I can't. So that's telling me there's no nerve sensation there. And so that's what I'm going to focus on. Today it was going to be... Uh, different uh, type of uh, PT today but today we're gonna focus on more of uh, isolating that rhomboid and that subscapularis and really get that shoulder area to fatigue uh, to try to stimulate muscle growth uh, excuse me nerve regeneration uh, so we will see how that works out uh, it's a long process uh, but you will have to when you have this type of inner uh, injury uh, and symptoms you're gonna have to talk to most doctors a number of doctors excuse me uh, I have found out the people I talk to it'll come back that, that they don't have anything specific no recommendations no uh, thoughts uh, overall no specific uh, knowledge that you're looking for as far as exercises this uh, chiropractor gave me a couple sets of exercises and uh, had mentioned uh, Drew Brees had uh, you know his shoulder injury and he'd recommended checking Drew Brees's exercise routines out because uh, he was able to come back from that shoulder separation I believe is what it was several years ago so you're gonna have to keep asking questions it becomes redundant uh, to you and frustrating because uh, I've asked three or four doctors what this symptom could be that's just your nerves it'll regenerate well, well okay but you know I guess that's what the physical therapist is for but considering there's no assigned PT right now it's just home waiting for the regeneration so I'm doing this on my own uh, these are all exercises that I've I'll be doing exercises that I've done before at PT and at home so this is not new but I'm able to isolate it more and work on more muscle visualization and contraction to try to get that uh, nerve to stimulate and regenerate and growth. But on a positive note, I do feel, continue to feel the uh, tingling uh, sensation that is associated with uh, nerve regeneration. And I'm hoping that uh, continues to be. If that's the case, then we're on the right track. However, the track is quite long, so we will see. So that's just a quick update. Everything seems to be going all right. 
uh, still working on arm strength, uh, range of motion. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can't do. There's some things I can do. Uh, there, there's been some improvements, so uh, not as many as you like, but we're work, trying to get that nerve to uh, regenerate. And the best way to do that is not sit at home, uh, which is kind of could be misconstrued from doctors statements but you have to get out there and continue to do it uh, on your own uh, there's don't wait there's just it doesn't make any sense you've got time you've got the equipment the, the small bands like I said before uh, you have that available uh, you can pick them up almost anywhere and there's different stages I think there's a green blue and a red there's probably even more a yellow maybe but pick them up and work on them don't just sit around and uh, wait because if you sit around and wait the, the race is over so um, still in the race so uh, until next time